So in this video, I will show you how you can connect Mobile Monkey to your Facebook page. So if you go to mobilemonkey.com, you ju can just click on sign in on the upper right corner. And here you can just click on sign in with Facebook. This will go to Facebook and because I'm already logged into Facebook, I don't need to manually type in my email address and password. Uh, but it could be that you need to do this. And then you can just click on continue as Joran. Then you have a collection of all the pages you manage, all the pages that you're the admin of. And for this project, I will go with Chatomize Test. And then you will see all the permissions you need to give to Mobile Monkey. So they can manage your ads, they want to receive your email address, they want to show a list of the pages you manage, all these kind of things. Uh, you just give Mobile Monkey all the permissions because these are all the things Mobile Monkey needs to handle your chatbot. So just set them all to yes and click on done. Then it will automatically go back to Mobile Monkey. And there you can then see the Mobile Monkey dashboard. What is really important is that we go to our Facebook page settings because we're not done yet. Facebook has a handover protocol and the handover protocol uh, pretty much means that if someone messages your Facebook page, who handles the conversation? And by default, the page inbox handles the conversation. But because we are now using Mobile Monkey, we need to set Mobile Monkey to the primary receiver. So just go to your Facebook, type in the page that you manage. I will go with Chatomize Test. And then on the left side, you have this menu where you can click on Settings. And then you go with Advanced Messaging. And here you can see that Mobile Monkey is already connected to your Facebook page. And below that, you can see the handover protocol. And the handover protocol is currently set to Messenger, to your page inbox. But when we click on Configure, you can select, oh, I already selected Mobile Monkey. Do that again. But you need to set you need to select Mobile Monkey to set as the primary receiver because otherwise Mobile Monkey will not work on your Facebook page. And also you set the si secondary receiver to the page inbox. Then you can just hit that cross, and that's basically what you need to do. Then if we go back to Mobile Monkey, if you're new to Mobile Monkey, they automatically make a chatbot for you. If you're not new to Mobile Monkey, like me, I already made a chatbot once. Um, then you need to make a new chatbot. So you just go to the settings, click on chatbot, and just create a new chatbot. And I will uh, call this Mobile Monkey Beginner, build from scratch, and create bot. And this will automatically create the chatbot for me and you can also already see that Chatomize test uh, is connected to the bot Mobile Monkey Beginner. Now Mobile Monkey automatically doesn't activate your chatbot, but that's what we are going to do now. So if you go to the settings again, you see here the chatbot status and you need to set that to active. So there was kind of a mistake there, but it's still loading and it's still working. So sometimes Mobile Monkey shows that there is some kind of mistake, then just reload the page, and in a lot of uh, with a lot of things, it just went right. Now I want to show you a kind of a really small breakthrough of the interface. So if you go to like the the dashboard, you see um, the number of sessions and the number of contacts. Uh, you also see some kind of step-by-step uh, -step guides that they provide. If you click on chatbot, you really can set up your chatbot with your chat starters, the dialogues, the Q&A, the automation rules that you can use. The inbox is really for the live chat that we are going to use also in this course. The campaigns is for chat blasters, drip campaigns, click to messenger ads, all these kind of stuff that you can make campaigns for and connect those campaigns to your uh, chatbot in Facebook Messenger. Then you have the lead section and the lead section is the section where you can see all the users that interacted with your chatbot. 
You can also see the integrations. So for example, you can make an integration with Zapier. You can make your own JSON webhook or you can connect to the Mobile Monkey API. And finally, you can see the analytics. So you can see the total context by platform or by source. Um, you can also see the unanswered questions, which are really important because they allow you to improve the answers of your chatbot. You got your top dialogues and the Q&A keywords triggered. So that's basically the interface of Mobile Monkey, and that's how you connect your Mobile Monkey chatbot to a Facebook page. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and if you didn't do it yet, please hit the like button below.